Good evening, everyone. So today we are at uh, Abacus Overseas Education Advisors. So first of all, I would like to thank you so much for coming here to know more about the, the Concordia University of Wisconsin. Today we have the guest from the university. She is uh, Ms. Katie Nevinsky. She is an international graduate admissions officer. So she is here to give you the in-depth knowledge about the university programs, the requirements, and also the lifestyle of Concordia University, how the uh, the cost of living goes, the weather conditions, the uh, the uh, how the students live over there, about your studies uh, programs, what are the curriculums you have to study, what is the duration, fee structures, everything she will be explaining you. And also if you have any doubts, after completing the session, we'll be having a one-to-one -one interaction as well. So please feel free to ask any doubts you have so that we are here to clarify all your doubts. Over to you, Katie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Okay, that light's back. <laughs> okay, um, so thank you for that lovely introduction. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited to tell you all about our university. We have, as you can see, this is our campus in Wisconsin. So we're Concordia University. We have two campuses. One is in Wisconsin and one is in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Both are wonderful and lovely. We'll talk about both. Right here you have our Wisconsin cabinet, campus and it's located on the shores of Lake Michigan. You can see our wonderful facilities uh, for sports and we have our buildings. Now, I know some people ask, is it cold in Wisconsin? Yes, it gets cold in Wisconsin. It really does. But the wonderful thing about our university, every single building that you see is actually connected by hallways, either on the ground level or underground. So in the winter, you come, you, you're in your dorm, you want to go to class. You don't even have to get your coat on. You don't have to go outside. It's all connected. So we really like that, and it's especially nice when you're used to maybe a different climate. So thank you. So today what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about who we are, our student population. Uh, we're located in Mequon, Wisconsin, at Ann Arbor, Michigan. Our application and immigration, what are the prereqs? What are your required materials? Your cost of financial aid, immigration, and our student support. We have support resources, we have a lot of extracurricular activities, and we have a lot of career prep. And you can see another beautiful picture of Lake Michigan with our Hall of Flags. We have flags from all over the world, including India, representing the many students that come to us from all over the world. Yes, thank you. So, who are we at Concordia? I'm going to talk about our Wisconsin campus first. Concordia has a total of 8,004 students that's in undergraduate and graduate. Not all students live on campus, some choose to live off campus. Uh, we have a large international student population. We have 751 international students at our Wisconsin campus. It's the fourth largest international student population in Wisconsin. So you would not be alone, you'd be part of a wonderful community of international students and a lot of students from India come to our campus and you might even know some of them or some of your friends. Um, in the classroom we have a small student to faculty ratio of 12 to 1. We also have 16 is the average class size. So you're not one of 100 people in a class, you're one of about 16. The professors take the time to get to know you. They're gonna know who you are, and they're gonna get they're gonna know your name. You won't just be a number, you're a person, and they're gonna know they'll, they'll talk and get to know a lot about you. Next slide, please. A little bit about our Ann Arbor campus. Uh, our Ann Arbor campus is a little bit, it's the smaller of the two campuses. So we have a total of 1,324 students. We have international students from 11 countries. We have 11 to 1 student to faculty ratio, and 12 is the traditional median class size. So the Ann Arbor campus, if you want a little bit smaller campus, a little more rural or suburban, 
or maybe you just want to be in Michigan because maybe you have friends in Detroit or we're only 45 minutes from Detroit. Um, those are things that might make you want to choose the Ann Arbor campus. So, learn more about you. Who knows what they would like to major in? Does anyone? Everyone's too scared to talk. That's okay. <laughs> we'll go to the next one. I'll learn more about you later. <laughs> so, our philosophy in Concordia is educating people of the mind, the body, and the spirit. So, for our mind, we have over 70 plus major programs. We have scholar programs that are a little bit advanced study. For the body, we have 30 varsity athletic sports. We have four intramural sports if you just want to play for fun. And for the spirit, we are a Lutheran institution that's Christian. We're Lutheran Missouri Synod. There's daily optional chapel services on campus. So you don't have to be Christians. We have our MBA, Master of Business Administration. And you can see underneath the MBA, you have a lot of different choices. So you can take your MBA, but then you can make it your own by choosing which concentration you would like. Any concentration that has STEM written by it, that is qualified for a STEM, which would be the longer visa. We also have a Master of Church Music. We also have Master of Science and Computer Science, MSCS. And then you would choose either Information Systems, Software Engineering, or Business Data Analytics. We also have a Master of Science in Rehabilitation Science, along the, which is like uh, physical therapy. And this is a very interesting program because it's actually a one-year program and you can get your master's. And um, it's designed for international students. A little bit about our Ann Arbor's uh, campus. Our Ann Arbor, Michigan campus is just 45 minutes from Detroit. So it's right here. Detroit is 45 minutes. And it's two hours from Grand Rapids. It's a little more um, suburban, a little more rural, and it is, it's also a lovely place. If you want that smaller campus feel, this might be the campus for you to choose, or if you prefer Michigan to Wisconsin. Um, these are all of our undergraduate degrees that we have at the Ann Arbor campus, and here is how you apply. You would, it's an online application. There's no application fee whatsoever. No application fee. We would need your high school transcripts. So that would be your cumulative marks, your individual marks, your diploma. Uh, we need that proof of English profici proficiency. So you can take the IELTS, Duolingo, TOEFL, and we have the required scores. You need a passport. <laughs> you will not make it to America without the passport, so make sure you have the hat. And we also would need financial documents showing you can afford to come to our school. Um, graduate students need the resume or your CV, two letters of recommendation, and a statement of purpose. So that's what you need to apply. So, how much will it cost per year? Oh, so, sorry, this has the undergraduate, which this will be good because it's less the graduates. Less. We can go back because I'll use that. So, let's see, that looks big. The graduate, 15000 per year for the graduate tuition, but then it is around 12000 for the room and board. 12,000 or 12,500. So it ends up, if you want to stay on campus, being a total of about 27,500 for the tuition and the room and board. And we do say you need to have some miscellaneous expenses ready for buy books and things like that. Things like that. So I would say you could probably say your graduate would be around 30,000 with the miscellaneous and if you're staying on board and for the graduate tuition. We have um, some financial resources. The scholarships for, are for undergraduate. We do not offer scholarships for graduate. We do, however, have on-campus employment. 
So if you want to work on campus, almost every office on campus, including mine, um, we hire students to, to help us and to work for us for about $10 an hour. And you could definitely find a campus job. We you also can find maybe scholarships outside of Concordia through other websites. Sometimes people's companies have scholarships. So that's something to look for as well. So here's how it goes. You apply, use all your documents, and then after you are accepted, you'll get your I-20. Then you need to pay the tuition deposit for the, and that goes towards your tuition. So that's three hundred three fifty for the fee for the tuition. Yes. Oh. The tuition fees is actually three hundred dollars okay. for the international students, but as uh, we are one of the authorized representative, so for uh, the payments. If you choose Abacus student, then you will be getting a discount of $150. So the deposit for the I-20 is $150, only for, exclusively for Abacus students. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for clarifying that, excellent. Then you will have your visa interview at the U.S. Embassy and Consulate. And I know here they prepare you very well for your visa interviews, doing several mock interviews, so that you will know how to be prepared when the time comes for your visa interviews. It's wonderful. When you come to campus, we have many support services. So we have tutoring. We have something called, we call it the ARC, our Academic Resource Center. So there you can have peer subject tutoring, writing center, math dropping desk, and accessibility services. So if you're having problems um, with a subject, we will help you in that subject. You can set up an appointment. We're there for you. We're there for you. It's a great resource for all students. Um, we also have, we, we want you to be healthy. So we care about your mental health and your physical health. We have a counseling center. In that counseling center, Sorry, in the counseling center, if um, maybe you're having a hard time adjusting to life in a different culture. I know that can be challenging. I myself uh, lived in India for three years, and there's that period of adjustment where you're like, whoa, this is just different. Everything's different. And so if you, you, we have a counseling center that maybe can help you through that. And also your physical health. We have a student health center right on campus. You're not feeling well, you can get, you can go to the student health center, very easy. You don't have, even have to go outside, just walk through the tunnels in the building, and they're gonna help you out. They're gonna, they can give you some medicines or maybe write a prescription if you're not feeling well. Um, we're also a JED campus member. On our Wisconsin campus, we have, this is one of my favorite places, Concordia International Center. And on the Concordia International Center, a lot of international students come together and they just hang out or they have activities there. We did a Day of the Dead activity, we, we got the Bali activity. We have activities from all around the world we incorporate there. And it's just a lovely chance to just kind of mingle and have fun and learn about each other's cultures. Um, we have international support services and we have the OPT, CPT post-graduation week will help you with that. For on-campus housing, we have lots of options, uh, all inclusive with room and board. We have four dining areas on campus, two Starbucks, that's important for me at least. <laughs> and it's the same cost no matter what dorm you live in, and it's eight dorms to choose from. If you actually go to our website, you can do a virtual tour of our dorms, and they're quite beautiful. They're, they're like little apartments. It's, it's lovely, and you're like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> Thank you. We also have lots of extracurricular activities. So we have fine arts, art, music, theater. We have clubs, 22 special interest clubs, 16 professional organizations, 
we have a, a BSU Black Student Union, we have activities. So I was kind of talking about the different activities that are organized for a very, you pay five, five bucks, you, you get on the bus, you can go to the Brewers game, we have an open mic night. Um, Brewers is baseball, you should say it. Six Flags, go to Mall of America, go to Chicago, and also organize musical performances. So there's always something. I, it's funny, so I work at the school, and in the bathroom stalls, <laughs> there's a list for the month, and every day, almost every day, has some kind of on-campus activity that you can participate in if you choose. So there's, you don't have to, but it's there, it's there. We have a student newspaper, and we have a fitness room, so free weights, meds, cardio, and we have gym hours, even if you're not on the sports team, there's, a, there's free gym hours where you can just come and work out if that's something that you're interested in as well. Maybe I'll learn more about you later when I'm talking to you one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> so, life after college. So, major exploration. What can I do with this major? That's something you're going to be able to talk about before you graduate with your uh, student engagement specialist and your academic advisor, they're gonna help you. We have career resources. We have a career mapping and planning. We help you with your professional documents. We get them ready so that you'll be ready to apply for jobs. We help you with interviews. We prepare you for those so you know what to do. We also have our personal branding. People around us know Concordia. Some people I know look for Concordia graduates and they like to hire Concordia students because they know that those students are going to be really good, really well prepared, and ready to work. And we also have workforce fairs set up right for you in right outside the cafeteria. We have those where you can just go and, and check out different job opportunities. So is now a good time for questions? Or do, did you want to do that? Is it easier one-on-one -on -one or should we say so some? If general? you have any questions, please feel free to ask okay. us. Okay. Go ahead. So, <laughs> can okay. I ask you like how many of you are planning to go for Concordia University of Wisconsin for studies? Can you please raise your hand? Perfect. So I'll just explain, I'll just uh, give you my personal experience. I have been visited the campus for twice. I saw myself the campus. I had the entire campus tour. So as she told, the student faculty ratio is very less. So you have a focused education system over there. You have a best cafeteria in the campus, uh, which you get, a, uh, you get a variety of foods to be tasted every day. It's not like every day you have the same kind of a buffet. It's a different every day. Uh, the, the faculty members, the international team are very supportive. You have the separate international office where you can find uh, all the country's flags hang in the campus, in the international office. You have a separate international team. Any doubts, any queries about your program, your lectures, they are always there to support you. And the best part is like our students, like Abacus students who have already been uh, got the visa and studying in US in Concordia University of Wisconsin. Majority of the people are working on campus with the international office, with the different uh, departments of the university. So where you have the opportunity to study while you earn. So you have the dual motto like you are studying in the same campus and also you are getting to earn in the same campus. So there are a lot of opportunities on campus itself. And the best part is like the university is very super duper uh, cool. As she told that it's the coolest place. You get a lot of cold over there. And uh, the best part is like university has a private beach attached to the campus. So which is one of the uh, best place I can see. I had a very good time when I was uh, in the campus. I had twice to the campus. And also the city, it's, I can say it's a happening place. Generally we say that Miami is one of the happening place in uh, US, which is in Florida. 
state like in Wisconsin, McQuam is one of the happening place. Uh, we uh, had a very good time. You have Indian restaurants over there. You get the Indian food. It's not like you uh, will be like uh, very lonely or you won't uh, feel to live over there or stay. Nothing like that. We have a lot of Indian students who are studying there. Our own Abacus students are studying there. If you have any doubts about your accommodation, any doubts about your uh, the transportation, so our students are there. They will support you for anything once you get your visa. It's not like I can share you the contact details now. Then you just keep on bugging them like what is what. So first you get your visas successfully. Then please feel free to contact me. I'll share you the contact details of the students who are already studying there. You can contact them. You can arrange your accommodations. You can arrange your uh, airport pickups. So they will, they are there to support you. And you will be the my next source of uh, communication for the coming future students. Then you will be supporting us for the accommodation and the uh, transportation facilities for the upcoming students who are coming from India from Abans. So thank you guys. If you have any more doubts, please feel free to ask us. If you want anything to be discussed one on one, we are uh, downstairs in the fourth floor office. So please feel free to contact there. Thank you so much for joining us.